Hello, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch back in the office now on Sunday morning. Actually, it is 15 after 6, but it's really 15 after 5 because we have sprung forward. We're going to get a little bit more daylight now. Everybody thanks God for that. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more warmer weather as hopefully spring is on the way. Well, that's a wonderful thing to think about. Let me ask you a question. How hard is it to praise God during difficult times? Well, it's pretty hard. I mean, it's pretty hard when things are kind of going downhill. Now, listen, whether you caused it or whether God's putting you through a trial or whatever, maybe somebody else caused it, no matter, it's still a difficult thing. Now, the way we deal with that is going to be very important, but the fact that we go in a downward spiral sometimes is not fun. It's actually, it's very frustrating. It's very aggravating. It's very worrisome. And I know that our faith uh, should be steadfast. I understand that. But sometimes in the flesh, in the humanity, uh, we get weary. Uh, the Jews were carried away uh, in captivity two or three times in their existence of their history uh, because of disobedience. God had told them that he was going to do this very thing, and he did. And the uh, Babylonians carried them away with three different deportments at three different times. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar came back over to Jerusalem and brought more Jews to Babylon, put them in bondage. And obviously, that is written about quite a bit in the Bible. Daniel, of course, writes about that. And uh, we have uh, Ezekiel that was there. And uh, then we have, obviously, Nehemiah that came back. He was born in captivity. Well, Psalms 137 is a Psalms about the Jews that were there in captivity in Babylon. And the Babylonians said, sing us a song. The Jews are music makers. They're, they're worshipers. They sing these great songs to Jehovah. And the people that had them ca in captivity said, sing us a song. We want to hear a song of Zion. We want to hear a song of the motherland. Sing us a song of Israel. Well, the Jews in Psalms 137 said, how can we sing a song in a foreign land? How can we think about where we were and deal with where we are. And let me ask you that question. Because in this, just these few little verses, about seven or eight verses, just in these few little verses of Psalms 137, they said our hearts broke. They, we, we, we wept when we remembered how it used to be. Let me ask you that question. How, how was it with you once when you walked with God? How was it with you when you once could reach out and just get him by the hand or he could get you by the hand how long has it been since you have been in that intimate relationship with God that you could hear his voice and you walked with him and you listened to what he said you see sometimes like our time changed today of course and that's going to change a lot of things for a lot of folks going to allow people to get out a little bit more and that sort of thing. It's not going to look so dreary in the evenings. It'll be daylight longer and all that stuff. But that'll give everybody a little pump for a little while. Then the heat will come in and people be complaining about how hot it is. And then it'll change again. And, and we're hard to satisfy. I mean, things come up on our mind. We say, well, you know, if it's this way, if it's that way. Well, the Spirit of God is a comfort. And the Spirit of God comforts you in whatever situation you're in. And these Jews in this particular Psalms 137 said, you know, our, our hearts are breaking when we remember. We don't want to sing about that day because that was a glorious day. Well, let me ask you the question. Why were they in Babylon? They were in Babylon because of disobedience. It wasn't necessarily the opportunity that we have today that they had back when Psalms 137 is recorded it's an idea to consider your fellowship and my fellowship with God. How important is it? What are you doing for the cause of Christ? When's the last time you had an experience with God where you felt his touch, you heard his voice, you followed where he was leading? You see, Psalms 137 is so critical. Our hearts broke when we remembered Zion. How can we sing a song of freedom in bondage? Well, the Bible's very clear that we are free in Christ. No matter where our physical bodies are, we're free in Christ. John Bedford, you remember in uh, uh, Pilgrim's Progress, or John Bunyan, rather, 
uh, spent 16 years in a Bedford jail and wrote Pilgrim's Progress. The Apostle Paul sat under a sewer system in Rome and wrote 2 Thessalonians uh, and 2 Timothy. Uh, let me ask you a question. Can you not do what God has empowered you to do? You say, yeah, but I just don't feel like it. I feel so weary and tired. I feel so disappointed in myself. So many things going on in my life, you just don't know. No, I don't. But I want to tell you what. The one that died for you does know. And he loves you enough to make it happen. You say, well, pastor, what am I supposed to do? Get up. Get up. Wash your face. Clean yourself up. Put you some nice clothes on. Get to church this morning. Be blessed of God. And God will bless you for that. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.